For three days now, the East African Legislative Assembly has been mad in controversy over the alleged fraudulent staff recruitment exercise at the ESC headquarters in Arusha, Tanzania. On Tuesday, Tanzanian representatives boycotted the regional parliament sitting to deny the passing of a motion to block the recruitment exercise. The House convened yesterday, but the Ugandan MPs had also stayed away, denying the assembly quorum. Think about this situation in all dimensions within the purpose for which we are here, within issues about accountability, within issues about uh, how East Africans keep us here with the taxes they pay. Today, the assembly was expected to resume work, but Uganda and South Sudan legislators refused to return to the House, prompting the Speaker Martin Ngoga to call off an urgent commission meeting. Uganda, represented by Rosa Ako and Mary Mojenyi, stuck to their guns saying this will be the status quo until the Minister for East African Affairs, Rebecca Kadaga, is in Arusha next week. So then we resolved that since uh, this matter needs uh, f the full attention of the council, let's postpone this plenary, resume on Tuesday, for the sake of harmony and uh, finding a solution. As, as tacticians, we had to do a tactical withdrawal and first go back on the drawing board to ensure our motion is not defeated. So even today, we notified the speaker that uh, we are waiting for our minister, the right Honorable Rebecca Kadaga. Uh, we are waiting to consult uh, with uh, the leadership in Kampala uh, to see on the way forward and we shall not attend the plenary. When you listen to those who are complaining, they say, the, some even are more qualified than those who have been shortlisted. People have petitioned, some have gone to court. The row has sucked in South Sudanese representatives who have also voted out their chapter chairperson. We put it to the vote and what happened was that uh, I uh, got elected as the interim chair of the chapter. The accusing of sidelining with members against a motion moved by Ugandans to block the allegedly fraudulent recruitment exercise, which also affects the interests of South Sudanese. We cannot condone injustice. We cannot condone, condone a very uh, corrupt way of uh, uh, hiring people to ESC. This is injustice. It is unfair treatment against South Sudan. As an MP representing South Sudan, when I was voted to come here, 2017, I did not come here to come and sleep in hotels. I did not come here to come and eat in Arusha. I come here to represent you. In this particular one, Uganda will stand to lose out and South Sudan if this uh, uh, recruitment process continues. The Arusha recruitment has also affected the extraordinary meeting of the Council of Ministers of the East African Community, which was scheduled for this week. These are the empty chambers of the East African Legislative Assembly in Arusha, Tanzania. Ugandans and South Sudanese have boycotted the sittings, claiming that the ongoing recruitment of staff in the East African community is fraudulent. Jingo Francis, NTV in Arusha, Tanzania.